Well hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing something completely different. I've come up to Glencoe with John and John and I are members of Stirling Camera Club and John and I are both in the buddy system. So Stirling Camera Club have a buddy system that gets members closer together and you can learn skills from each other as well. So John and I have come up to Glencoe. John's got two famous pets, uh, Scottish Deerhounds, Jesse and Isla. And Jesse and Isla are famous because they're movie stars. Jesse was in the movie The Outlaw King with Chris Pine. And they've also been in lots of magazines as well. Stunning, beautiful dogs, fantastic nature. But what I'll do is I'll turn around and you can see John. John's starting to get his kilt. Well, I don't think you call it a kilt, John, do you? A Fillamore great, great Plain. So, while John gets ready, because John's going to get all dressed up and we're going to do a photo shoot, so join us and let's see where this journey takes us this morning. Our plan is to walk down the side of the hill here and find a mound with a view to using the Three Sisters as a backdrop and the view down to the loch. But what we'll do is once John's got Jesse and Isla ready, we'll then catch up and then we can walk down. Here we are, here's the stars of the show. This is Jesse. I see you, Jesse. And there's Isla. There's Isla. Hello, Isla. Okay. Right, and we're off. I'll just follow John and Isla and Jesse because they're more photogenic. <laughs> Ah, the wind has dropped, that's really helpful. All for the standard. Ah, so John's just mentioned that the wind's dropped because earlier it was quite windy, which would have been really good for the standard flying. But we'll, we'll see how we get on. That standard that John's holding is the Jacobite standard of the 1745 rebellion. Right, so what we'll do is we'll get set up and we'll get some shots of John. All right, so what I'm trying to do is get set up here. I don't think I'll need the tripod just now. I can shoot handheld. <laughs> right, so this is something we've never done before and as part of the buddy scheme, this is what John and I want to learn, how we can work with actors and models, per se. Right, I think I might have to go lower. Might be a better composition. Right, forget a cloak, I'm trying to get, there's a lot of grass in front of me here, so if I just keep taking shots, right, I've got to get a close-up. There we are, that's cracking, keep going. Right, what I'll do is I'll work my way down, I'll go down to the bottom there, and I'll see if I can get some shots. Moving down, because we've never done this before. 
it's not quite like landscape where Isla and Jesse's patients in here. So the other thing you're, you notice as well when you take these photos is where the flag's positioned. One more. All right, I'll just go higher and get the back shot. That's nice. Ready? Because I'm conscious when I'm taking these shots to get John in either the lower third or the higher third. And then the other thing that's happening is we're getting rain because we've forecast a lot of snow today. Else. It's a competition for a car club. <laughs> what are they up to, they madmen? John is uh, right into all the reenactments. <laughs> you can go and stand behind him and I'll take your picture and put you in the video. <laughs> That's a beauty. Aye. Yeah, and that. Perfect. So I we've got, yeah, got some nice ones. Nice ones, yeah. Trying a different composition now, where we've got John and Isla and Jesse. I'll just wait for Isla. There she is. Isla, Isla. And then the gritter's going past. Ah, that's better. That's crack actually. Get low here. So these are quite close up shots. Now, if I get one with a standard in it, let's see. I'll get that shot for here. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Oh well. Cool. This one might be better. <laughs> right. right, John. Well, we've just had a wee impromptu photo shoot there because there's a whole bunch of tourists came down for the car park and uh, yep. we had to improvise. So John was a brilliant model for a hundred tourists there. <laughs> and uh, we've taken a number of shots. So those shots that we've taken where we've had individual shots, Isla and Jesse together, with some nice sombre shots with John in front of the standard. And then what we'll try and do I'm not quite sure how we're going to make this video, <laughs> but uh, we'll try our best Absolutely. and we'll Here share we'll one. share an image. Take, take time, we'll man. share these pictures with you now.
All right, so this is the first time I've ever done a kind of photo shoot like this in public. So that was really interesting with all the hundreds of tourists <laughs> hanging over our back and clicking behind us a bit. Hey, John was a fantastic spectacle and model. So what John's done is he's left the Jacobite standard here leaning against the rock and he's also left the shield and the sword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the shield and the sword so that I can try and make some compositions. And once I've finished, I'll share those images with you now. So John and I have now came to our second location and we're just at the base of uh, the Glencoe Ski Centre and as you can see we've got some pretty windy conditions now and we've got smatterings of snow starting to happen so the gritter's been passed a few times but what we'll do is we'll head down to the side of the river and we're going to use some of John's props for photographic interest and I'll turn around there's John down at the side of the water there getting set up so what we'll do is we'll make our way down and we'll catch up soon right there's John taking his shot and I'll stand back so I'm on his composition but that's the composition he's got he's got his shield and the sword and then we've got the buckle in the background and as you can see we've got all the ice in the river. What are you shooting at John? F14. F14? You got high ISO? Yep. And you're, aye the danger is you get highlights off the ice don't you if you've got the composition too bright. Right, we'll get set up and we'll have a wee shot. Right so John set up a shield and the sword there so what we're doing is John's on the other side of the river and I'm trying to get a kind of landscape shot of the scene. I'm trying to be careful where I walk. Um, so what I'll do is I'll film from this camera and then you can see what I'm talking about. So what we've done is I've put the sword and the shield in the bottom left hand side, bottom right hand side of the composition. Actually, if I just zoom out a little bit, because what we want is a bit of space at the top for the booklet of more and then what we'll do is I've got a whole bunch of F11 I, I've speeded up the camera a bit so I've got 160 of a second and I've had to lift my ISO to ISO 320 oh some beautiful light can you see that light oh wow some amazing light but coming down now oh it's really nice I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll see if I can get a, a vertical shot because this scene is absolutely stunning and the sun's lit up the grasses in front of us so it's really really nice so what I'll we'll try and do is go further down and what we'll do is we'll take two or three different shots and when we're finished we'll share these images with you now I'm just nipping up here so that we can get a shot with that light that's come across in front of the buckle. So I'm just going to do a couple of shots here and uh, I'll just tilt this down so it's level. I'll zoom in because what we want to try and do is make sure we've still got the sword in the bottom of the scene and the sun's coming back again and we're getting more magic light. That's absolutely cracking. going to 
go down really low because this is something that I normally do is use props. So this is actually really interesting and you actually have as much time as you want because nothing's actually moving away from you. So it's really, really cool. The biggest challenge you've got here is your settings. So what I'm doing here is I've just got a, a vertical shot going on and I'm trying to use the sword and the shield. The swords and the shield more or less is that kind of focal point of interest. But the way that John set them up, it's absolutely cracking because it suits this landscape completely. So I'll take two or three different shots here, different angles, and I'll share those images with you. Well, I think we're going to end the video here. Thanks to John, because I've learned so much today. No, it's been, it's been absolutely brilliant. Oh, and, uh, just you... to introduce a wee bit of history into your shots, it means a lot to me as well. So, yeah, it's great to share that with somebody. Well, that is my favourite area, and <laughs> I just love Scottish history as well. Yeah. I think the key thing, the key things I learned today was I've never really taken portrait photographs <laughs> in the open and the public. <laughs> You might All have those... a subject, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you were amazing dressed up. So hopefully you've seen all that footage, of all the effort John had to go to to get his outfit on. And Isla and Jesse were amazing as well. Absolutely fantastic nature. I think the tourists enjoyed it really well yeah, as well. probably as much as us. I I, all the tourists kept taking photographs over our shoulders. Yeah. And then just to finish off here, using the props... And Glencoe is just amazing. I've never shot with props before either. And it adds a completely different dynamic and learning to your photography as well. Get quite emotional. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's what it's all about for me. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Thanks, John. Your pleasure. time is much appreciated. Really enjoyed it. So we're going to end the video here. Thanks again to John. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because you know it's free. And if you press the bell notification, That'll let you know the next time I post a video. So thanks again, and here's to the next video.